Good evening, Council. You guys are missing the good points here, the, the, the good part of this. For two years now, you haven't been responsible for this mess. This budget isn't yours and never will be. I have a prediction. I have a prediction. Every change you make in this budget is going to be vetoed. That's prediction one. I have another prediction. You guys, unanimously, minus maybe two, are going to vote to accept the budget. And they're going to put blood on your hands. We need to be smarter than this, guys. We need to be smarter than this. Three years ago, we had a $4 million deficit, basically unpaid taxes. The state comes, takes $4 million plus from us in revenue sharing. We have a $9 million deficit. We get an emergency manager. Two years in, with an emergency manager, we have a $19 million deficit. And here we sit. We worry about public safety. I recommend we put a, uh, a moratorium on talking about police. The community should not know the true numbers of police officers that are out there. Mm. You're sitting here telling the criminals, we got two police officers. We got five firefighters. Come on. Go into an executive session. Do what you got to do in private. I think I'll be OK with that. You guys have an opportunity here. Mr. Neely, I suggest you go sit in your office, collect your $215, and be done with it. Brother Mays, you need to do the same. That's what your value is to the emergency manager. He doesn't want you here voting. He doesn't want your comments. He doesn't want our comments. He wants to dog and pony show all his decisions and make you sign in on them. He wants to put blood on your hands. You have to decide whether you're going to allow him to do that. Don't vote for this budget. Don't waste your time trying to get into committee meetings making changes. Let's see where it goes. Any CEO in America would be fired if he brought in a deficit after two years. There's nobody that can run a corporation anywhere that would be tolerated in that position. He has not shown us any income revenue generation. All he's talked about is cutting. He sold $100,000 garbage trucks to Republic and then gave them the contract to do the city. In all things purely Paul, social, Paul, wrap up, we can please. be as separate as the fingers. But y'all, we got to be blood free. And one is the hand in all things mutual, Thank beneficial you. to our mutual progress. Thank you.